In 2023, I threw hikes the West Highland Way in the Scottish Highlands. But when I was done with the trail, I didn't feel done with hiking. So I carried on from Fort William to Inverness, otherwise known as the Great Glen Way. This is that story. We just finished up the West Highland Way yesterday. We took a hotel break overnight and we're cruising. But today, me and Mats are climbing Ben Nevis, the big boy, the beastie, the minus 11 up top, the minus two, but minus 11 with wind chill, and I'm buzzing for it, it should be good. The calves are feeling cack, my legs were hurting in the night, but we're still gonna send it up there, find ourselves a base camp spot to hit up for the night, grab a few beers. We've been drying room, this entire gaff, but now it's time to go. But look, man, we've got the old gang from when I had a red posty van. <laughs> Packed up and we're shooting. We're saying bye to Christina and yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's been emotional. I can't. Good luck on the Cape Raft Trail. Yeah. And uh, enjoy it. Cheers. It'd be awesome. Let's climb Ben Nevis. I mean, there's a light, slight little bit of drizzle in the air, and you can see it's darkened up uh, up above us. I had to jump into Nevis Sport, where it's called, just to get some like light thin gloves because I was like, I don't want to climb the Ben in this weather because it's looking pretty nasty up there without any gloves on so at least these will give me a little bit of wind protection but yeah we're just going to try and hitch now and get ourselves down to the campsite it's like two and a half miles that we don't really want to walk so if we can get a ride that'd be pretty cool what a score that was we literally we like we thumbed for literally what probably three minutes not even maybe three less. minutes maybe less and this lady rocked up in like a v uh, mercedes Vito with like leather seats in the back she's like jump in i'm a tour guide we're like sweet so we just hitch here it's like a two and a half mile walk and it started doing this literally 30 seconds before we jumped in the car we we're like thank god because it's seriously coming down now so we're gonna have to like chill out here for a bit wait for it to pass and uh yeah then we should be in a good place because it looks pretty uh pretty gross up there at the minute as you can see and the rain's coming down so yeah let's get booked in figure our stuff out that changed pretty drastically, pretty quickly. Stunning. Look at it. Beauty. We've got to get our tents up and then we can blast on up. Big Ben. We're set up, we're good to go. We're on the campsite and we're slack packed and good to go. Give us a 360, give us a 360. Look at that, it's clean. There's like uh, washing machines and stuff in here so we can do some kit and stuff later. Yeah, that oh, mate. We're gonna uh, we're gonna take a piss, and then we're gonna skip dop do up there. Damn! Just had to lose the layer already. Cause it's so warm. It's gotta be like 20 now. It's like as soon as that rain stopped, it just burst it out with straight up warmth. As Matt's just pointed out, that there, that trail is where we came down yesterday on the back end of the West Highland Way. Just absolutely tabbed that section out. So send it up now on one of the flat parts, quite nice. There she is up there, the summit, somewhere behind that covering of fog. Stunning. I've had to transfer to my phone because the camera's died. Bad admin on my case, so no, I should charge the battery, but it is what it is. So now we're bouncing around on the iPhone. But yeah, what stunning views. I would say it's pretty packed, but it is what it is. Nice. But yeah, um, Mads has flown up in front of me, but I'm going to try to catch him. But yeah, that guy hits hills, attacks them seriously, man. Go on, let's go. Look at that view. Hello, just coming in here from the edit. All my camera batteries died and my phone died, so it was a bit of a bugger up, so I didn't get the rest of the mountain. But here is some photos of us at the top, at the summit, and then us on the way back down, which was 
awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another fuck oh man. Good morning gang, welcome back to the start of another through hike and yes, in every normal fashion, I stopped outside a little. We're in the town of Fort William in the Highlands of Scotland. With Motsi over here, we've got a new friend on, uh, on board. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's Motsi's last day on trail because he's going to get back, head back to the Netherlands, but going to miss you man. But, yeah. Yeah, man. It's on about three days I think for the, uh, the Great Glen Way. About 67 mile, and it's pretty flat. There should be some nice rivers, there should be some nice lakes, locks, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. But first things first, I'm starving, I'm gonna eat some pastries. See you in a bit. I need to go and get some adventure meals before we head out on this because it, um, I, I'm missing one. I need one more, I need one more, and then I'm good to go uh, for the rest of the trail. Nice, until we get to Inverness. Thanks, man. What have we got? Ooh, we got some something to eat. We've got some fire pot food, we've got some wayfarer, and some adventure food. Let's make a decision. I only need one and there's about 15 here, so let's decide what we need for breakfast. No, dinner, it's a dinner. I'll choose mochi tomato paella. I think I'm gonna do that one, because that looks nice. <laughs> it's just right in the middle. <laughs> Come on, start. Let's go, lads. Come on! Yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> well, the bench was there then. Nice! Oh, mate. Feels absolutely great. Back out on another trail. And so far, so good. Looks bloody stunning, mate. This is my bridge now. We came, we saw, we conquered, boys. Carriage lads for the win. Oy, oy. Right, up and over. Oh, man. This bridge wobbles, so I'm super scared about doing that, so hope you appreciate that shot. <laughs> We're at the coast properly, but th there's no sea at the minute. It's, it's out. It's gone home. It's gone and done a mad one. There's some cool ass boats up here. So I'll get some shots for you because they look awesome and stranded maybe. There's a huge old Swedish potato shipping vessel that sits right here and I remember it because the first time that I ever came up here, the first time that I ever came to the Highlands when I was about 14, I remember going in there and they had like the world's hottest uh, chili con carne in there and we tried a bit on a cracker, me and my mate George, um, and it was super hot and we were there like drinking milk trying to just get rid of it. Hello mate, how are we doing? Hello! <laughs> Little dog. Um, yeah, right, mate. And um, yeah, I just remember it from back then because I was literally 14. It was the first time I'd come up here. We were going round through the valleys and driving through here and going up some hills and stuff like that. And it was just stunning, man. And it, yeah, just took me back that because I, I always remember meeting these three lads. We're waiting for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember meeting these two lads that rocked up into the bar. One of them in a Canadian open canoe like what me and Bex have got now. And uh, one in a sort of, more of like a river running kayak but with the, the pods that you could put your gear in and stuff. And they were actually paddling the Great Glen Way on the same sort of route as we're on now. Um, like a canoe and kayak route. And ever since I was like, I want to come back up here and do that. 
So I might do that at some point on the boat, but yeah, I'll let you know. But for now, we're walking it and it's gorgeous. This is uh, what then? Slyhem, Slyhem. I don't, I don't know. We're at a bridge. We're, we're at a bridge, and I don't know where. Um, I don't think Seam Bridge is far, or this is Seam Bridge. I'm not really sure. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> we're saying bye to Matt's here, and he's going. It's his time to depart off trail. Yeah. You got any words to say to the guys? It's been a blast. Uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> do it for me, and that'll be all right. For sure, man. Yeah. Can I do the, the hand thing? You can, can do the hand thing. All right. What do you say at the, at the last bit? It's, it's be been it. an absolute pleasure, gang. See you next week. Pleasure, gang. <laughs> see you in the next video. <laughs> nah, we'll see you again for oh, another trial. I'm back. Yeah, yeah, he's back. He's back. Oh, nice. We'll see you again for another trial at some yeah. point, won't we, man? For sure, man. Um, it's not the last you see of him. And we'll probably be on the PCT next year if I can convince him. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cinnamon roll from Lidl, bro. Sweat it out. We can't get rid of this one. No, I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still floating about. Do my thing. That's good. Mm. What, what's the inside look like? Cinnamon. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Cinnamon and, and dough. And then we've got hardcore wrap with corn beef. corn beef it All actually looks time. delicious looks good i'm only eating this because i want to get rid of weight you know what you should do you should bring like ketchup from like restaurants and stuff like mm. nick it yeah ketchup corn beef hash wrap like a little package of ketchup. Yeah, yeah that's dirty i like Super lightweight oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well it's thin on magdino mm. i mean it's thick. This is a really strange dynamic, isn't it? Oh. I've got an English, an English. <laughs> that's that, a huge one. <laughs> that's a dynamic. That's a strange dynamic. It's a lump of meat. Yeah. I've got an Englishman, a Dutchman, and a Frenchman. A Frenchman. <laughs> Sounds like the start of a bad joke. <laughs> it does sound like the start of a bad joke. Sitting in a bar, having a pint. What, more yeah. porn movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What sort of porn are you watching? I can't put, no more. Right, bloopers, see ya. In a crowded place. Bye, my lover. No, I don't know what Bye, to my do. I'm in the one. <laughs> it's a nice change of scenery. We're back up and out of it. We're back into the woodlands. It's nice. We're sort of hand railing the road, but. It's still nicer than being on that flat canal for ages. But it is just me and Leon Snow, Hello. and we're cracking on into the thick of it on the Great Glen Way. Nice. And there she is, Lock Locky. What a stunner. That's a nice house. Bloody lovely. Yeah, man. I remember driving down the road that passes Lot Locky oh, about 10 years ago. And I got some photos that I put on my Facebook and that. And I still look at them sometimes and remember that was the first time that I fell in love with the Scottish Highlands. And it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I can't wait to get down onto this track that follows it now and see what is going on. See what's changed in 10 years. Oh, and it sounds absolutely mad saying 10 years ago because it was 14 that I came up here. 14. 10 years. It's been a long old time, mate. But we're back. We're finally back at Lock Locky. 
mate. Let's get some views of it. I don't know where to start or when to end. There's like some nice little little shelters here that you can just chill in. Nice. All mossed out. And there's another one down there as well that I just poked my head in. But I don't know if it's just ones that the local little nippers have made or whether they're sort of just a bit of hold alls for in case the weather changes. A bit like a wee bothy. And there's a swing down there as well. So much beautiful moss here, it's like a fairyland. Absolutely stunning. The Great Glen. It's beautiful. And they built this new track and like this thing I'm sitting in here. And it's amazing. Absolutely stunning. I haven't got long to stay here because number one, I need to crack miles. And number two, the midges will find me pretty shortly. They tend to be doing that now. We're getting into the season of it. I'm missing the guys today, to be honest. Been alone for a little while now. And uh, I'm missing Matt, I'm missing Christina and uh, Leons. I've had to push on, push forward, because uh, I've got to get the miles cracked out. But it's a shame, man, miss the trail fam. So, yeah, shout out to them guys. And uh, thanks for making the West Island way an absolute dream in absolute uh, a mint time but now we've got 60 miles still ahead of us in front of well no actually i've done about tw i've just cracked about 20 miles now on the great glenway so we're going to head forward and we've got like another 60 to go so i'm gonna push out some more miles tonight and then i'm just gonna crack this out in a few 20 22 and a half 25s days i'll just get up early tomorrow and crack it out you know but yeah man i'm buzzing and this place is stunning absolutely beautiful and this really brings me back because I've driven down that road and I've taken photos of this this here hill 10 years ago. It brings back a lot of memories, a lot of life. There's a lot been lived since then. And I'm just happy, just content, just flabbergasted and everything that has happened in those last 10 years. I'm privileged, absolutely privileged what I've been able to do. So thank you, Mother Nature, Earth, the universe, and all that good pish. Let's hike some trails. Let's go, guys. Come on.
19.41 and we started at like half 11 and we've done 24.6 miles. Nice, not too bad. I could keep going, but I'll find a pretty nice spot here to camp. So I'm gonna end this. in my tent listening to oh my god am i that red i'm not i'm not oh, this must just be the lighting am i that red bro is that for real is that just the lighting bro why am i that red i look red is that, like, is that my camera no, I actually look red. What the fuck? Oh, mate. I do, I look quite red. I think I've caught the sun today, bro. Damn. I've caught it hot. I didn't even think it was... You know what it is? We've been walking next to water. When you walk next to water, it reflects back up at you. I've had my cap on, I've had my sun hoodie on. Oh, my God. I like a tomato. I'm gonna drink loads of water and eat some food now. <laughs> but I've just, ah, ah, ah. I just um I just booked now a uh, student like hostel in um in Inverness for for ah for two evenings time. So basically, um I'm i I've got a smash twenty five mile tomorrow and twenty five mile the next day and then I'm on the home run, I'm into Inverness, and then my train is at 10 hundred hours the next morning. So, I'm good to go, man. I'm like, kind of buzzing about that, get myself there. It was only like 25, I, was, I wasn't gonna bother, I was gonna camp on the outside of the city, but it was like 25 quid, so I was like, get there, spend 25 quid, camp in a room overnight, or like a bunk bed or something. Got my earplugs, because it's probably gonna be snorers, and then uh, wake up the next morning, go and get some breakfast, or have a line, and then get to, uh, get to, in Venice train station. And then I've got like a seven and a half hour journey back to Chester. And then I'm heading north on another adventure that day. It's a, it's a packed old time. I don't know when I'm gonna get the editing in, but I'll make it happen. But right now I need to eat some food because I'm hungry. I've got the hiker hunger and I've stretched it off. I need some food. And it's 2034. <laughs> I wanna be asleep, like going to sleep, but like in, 25 minutes really so I need to get this food on quick and I need to get to sleep because I want to get an early start tomorrow so I can just cruise 25 out Noit. Noit. <laughs> got the food going on out there and I've just been listening to um, the off trail podcast and the episode is who is Impala Impala is a guy that I followed I started following last year on um on Instagram and like I followed him and as my sort of passions changed and moved on like, I was always like fascinated with what it what he what it was he did like ultralight backpacking um always just saw him like uh, Solomon ambassador like carrying like a small ass backpack um and then getting like a out and pack as well a little uh, 30 um and just like I was like how is this dude smashing all these miles and living out of such a small pack and I was always pretty like interested in this guy and it wasn't until it came back around this year that I'd like got over a, a level where I'd gone hiking and done some stuff and I was like my legs feel good I feel good I feel fit I feel healthy which is what's really inspired me to get out and hike some more trails because I felt good in myself and it's been working I've been feeling better and better the more I've hiked and that hasn't been a case sometimes in the past that's been like a, I've got worse I've got like injuries and stuff like that and I feel good to be finally out on it so I'm just listening to his podcast, one that just linked through on his uh, Instagram. He's inspired me, and he's definitely inspired me um, in like the push towards ultralight backpacking. Um, I think the dude's crazy. Love his uh, content out on Instagram, um, and he just shreds and love loves miles, man. So yeah, dude, if you're watching this, um, big respect to you, mate. 
and uh, keep doing what you're doing, dude. And uh, I hope you're out there smashing miles. But yeah, um, it's a good podcast, so I'll leave a link to Impala on Trails uh, Instagram down there, and uh, you can go and check him out because the guy's cool. Tonight on the menu is an Expedition Foods. Nice. Uh, I actually got sent these by Basecamp Foods, so if you guys want to check them out over on Basecamp Foods website, I'll leave those down below. Uh, but they basically just offer a full range of like. Uh, food products like these dry adventure meals as well as energy uh, stuff and also other products but if you guys want a discount code uh, 10% off using Jake's journey mate uh, that works on food and energy stuff uh, and yeah like I say you can get 10% off any stuff there from base camp food so I'll leave those down below and uh, thanks for hooking me up guys with some scrum for the trail <laughs> I'm so tired oh, this is spicy it's nice. This is like a good old pub. I wouldn't kick off. I've got some little mini wraps put in. Peel and reseal, baby. Oh, groovy, baby. That's how we like it. Mini burrito. Yes. And I added my courtesy olive oil in there as well. Olive oil's like 900 calories per 100 milligram. So I chucked about 50 milligram in, so it's like a 1200 gram, uh, 1200 calorie meal now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Make sure I didn't pick up a beetle. Good. I'm gonna sign off, guys, and I'll see you in the morning because I'm so tired. I'm gonna get my sleeping bag out now. Let's go. See you in the AM. <laughs> Good morning, gang. Oh, what a beautiful place to wake up. The river right there. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Looking forward to smashing some miles out today. And it's gonna to have to be a minimum of a 25. Which is cool, because I did like 20 nearly 25 yesterday, and we only started at 11, and it's currently about seven. Had a little bit of a I set my alarm for six. I set my alarm for six, but I woke up. About six, and then uh, just been chilling for a bit. Oh, it's been tired, man. It's been a long few days, but yeah, I'm gonna get up and out now. Let's see what's going on out there, and get the miles cracked. And we get some lunch today because I've got to go through Fort Augustus in like 10, 15 miles, maybe. I don't even think it's that. And get some lunch for later on. God damn it. That's a joke. So I can actually three mile out my way. And that bit's lovely as well, that side. Now I've just got a road walk for the next eight mile. Sucks, really. Not what I wanted first thing this morning. I was looking forward to cruising down the back of that lock. Not having cars whiz past me. Would I well? It is what it is. It's beautiful. Well, it's probably not the... Uh, the best way to you know take a detour for a trail especially for like seven eight miles so a nice one forestry commission for uh for chucking everyone onto a uh a road with no pavement no sidewalks 
for like seven miles. To uh, to any of you Highland cow lovers, there's one swishing its tail. Stunning. In the Gary. Gary! <laughs> Gary! Check this out, I thought I'd let you know, it's probably acoustic AF in here. Someone sketched a unicorn, but BT dubs, unicorns are the Scottish national animals. We have lions, they have unicorns. I'll leave that right there. But apparently it's because uh, unicorns beat lions. It's not beating nothing if it doesn't exist, mate. <laughs> That'll do me, mate. Nice, let's get this uh, Cornetto down range. If you're ever annoyed with road noise and you're doing a big road walk, stop and get yourself a Cornetto. Make sure your problems go away. <laughs> Augustus. Oh, that's a big old mama of a shit. All the glen. Just got breakfast and did a resupply in Fort Augustus. Super, super busy, man. Absolutely packed out. But we're up and out of there now. And there's just a little bit of incline. Yeah, it was on a road. Shock horror. But um, yeah, it's nice. I'm liking it. Let's get up and get out of here. Because I want to get back into the wilderness. <laughs> Anyone saying the Great Glen Way has no undulating terrain. I just came down off that. This is the high route. You gotta take the high route on day two, man. And then you go up and over that and it's stunning. And then you drop down into that valley and then back up here. Bit of a lick. But my uh, quad's playing up, man. Quad's feeling it a bit twinged on my right quad, so. I'm just taking it easy, man, but I've already smashed out 20 and it's like 310 or something. 1510, so. Nice. Let's keep pushing. I'd love to take the high route, guys, but as you can see, the weather's coming in, man. I don't like this at all. Right up. Um, just collected some water. I've done like 26 point something miles today. Or 27, I don't know, 27, I don't know. I'm gonna keep walking. 
got another few miles, so it's going to be nearly a dirty 30 maybe. Um, feeling good, man. Legs feel good. My feet and ankles are a little bit tired as expected, but set off early and you get good miles in, bro. Yeah, man. Feeling sweet. The rain's been a little bit on and off, but it's only been tiny rain. So I'm happy with it, man. This water source looks nice, so hopefully I don't get cholera. Sweet. Peace. Let's go and get some chill out space. I think there's only like 30 miles of trail left now. But there's a switch back down there that ain't part of the trail. It's on my map that's showing my route. So I actually think that there's only like 28 miles left. So if I'm, I'm going to go and see that off now and get rid of it. And that'll clear up how long of this trail's actually left. So I might only have, I might only have like uh, low 20s left to smash out tomorrow and I'll be in a good place. You know what I mean? But yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, hi guys, hope you're all right. I just tuned in to just let you know that I've just bagged a dirty 30. So yeah, boy, we just smashed 30 miles for the day. And it feels good. My calf pain, uh, sorry, my quad pain's still there, but like, not really that bad now. I was on the phone to Becky earlier and it just gave me a super big like uh, boost of energy and raised my spirits a bit. So yeah, cruising man, cruising, feel good. And uh, there's a forest up here that I'm gonna try and get my head down in. But the weather's turning man, it's getting a bit breezy. So I'm gonna put the camera down and head there now. See you in a bit, bye. Morning gang, I think today is gonna just have to be one of those days where I'm just crushing miles. Uh, did that dirty 30 yesterday, 32 miles in the end, and uh, I'm tired, man. It's like nine o'clock, I slept in. I'm in a really discreet wood block, wood block though, so I don't feel too bad about it. Um, I didn't really sleep in, but I just, I woke up at like seven, but I've just been fighting myself a lot this morning, but um, yeah, I'm gonna get up, get packed up now, and bug out and hit the trail, and uh, hopefully it's all good. See you out there, <laughs> peace. Just flat grass, nothing else. Stunning. I found this bushcraft camp last night on my way in. Bloody lovely. Fireplace, an old burn log, some dry timber under there. Semi-livable constructions. Need more moss on them, but yeah, they look good, man. Nice. Firewall. Awesome. I've come out, oh, I've come out dressed like the plants today. <laughs> Gotta be done, hasn't it? Yellow, yellow, and more yellow. We're just setting off, I'm setting off so late. Honestly, mate, it's like half 10. I'm a bit disgusted in myself, to be honest. It's gonna take a while to rack up the 20 now. That's what we've got left, about 21, I think. I'll check the maps in a bit, but I don't mind. Be a nice, easy cruise today. I'm starting later, so I'll get there later, but it's still, that's just the final mileage, like 20 miles, so it'd be reet. I've actually enjoyed this trail more than I thought I would when we first started off, because when it was me, Mutz, and uh, Leons, I was like, oh, it's... It's gonna be a bit cack because we were just constantly on like canal towpaths. And yeah, I um I thought it was gonna be like that. But there was some really nice undulating terrain yesterday. I'm pretty sure I did like 4,000 4, plus foot elevation as well as 32 mile day. So yeah, I was quite impressed with yesterday. It's good. There was nice views. It's a bit tedious when you're up on top and I was like, oh, and I was getting battered by the wind a bit, but it was nice, man. And I'm looking forward to cruising in now. And then I'll probably have like 10 days break and then we'll be off on another trail because <laughs> I'm loving it. But yeah, man, it's sweet. Let's give you some nature. Say more than nature. <laughs> Oh. 
plundered, mate. Absolutely plundered. I'm buzzing for the ears, it's massive. Check it. Dressed like a condom. Oh yeah, baby. Oh nice. This is dirty. That is dirty. Mm. That's where it's at. Mm. Mustard. Ketchup. That's all you need that bro. 687k cow. <laughs> I just pulled this bar out of my pack. It's a grenade, high protein, low sugar one. And I've carried this bar for about 300 miles this year. So, nice. <laughs> I'm finally going to eat it. Finally going to eat it. Why not? Nice one, mate. It still looks in pretty good nick as well. I carried this on the South Downs Way, it's not only a slate trail, the West Island Way, so yeah, it's clocked in about 300 miles, mate. Nice one. Let's get it down range. There's a reason it was in there for 300 miles. That was gross. Nice little resupply. I mean, I've, I've tried to turn the water tap off, but it won't stop. I still filtered it because it's questionable source. Oh my God, look at that caravan. <laughs> Done in, mate. Woo. Right, let's cruise in. I don't know if it gets more fundamentally British and sat on a bench eating a cheese and onion sardi. Actually, I could have a cup of tea, couldn't I? But I'm just resting the feet, man. Legs elevated, very important. Legs elevated, up and right. As you hike, the blood starts to pull in your feet. So you get hot and you want to get that out of them. Get it back into your body. Let them feel relieved, man. Get some more, get a better circulation in there. Yeah, decent, and it's a beautiful view. I think I'm look at the scores on the doors. So far today, I have hiked 15.3 miles, and I have 7.9 miles remaining until end of trail. And then I'm in Inverness, and hopefully. I find it with a spoon, get a big ass burger, have a few pints, and get myself to my hostel for the night. And then it's time to get my head down, get showered, and jump on a train tomorrow morning back to Chester. Good to go. Mm. There she is, the first glimpse of Inverness. Just hit 19 miles, 20 soon to come, and then we're closing in, finishing at like 23, 24, something like that. Good to go, baby. Not quite, I was expecting to finish. Yeah, the, the quads are killing, not gonna lie. But it was fine last night after a sleep, so I'm looking forward to just getting to the hostel now, getting booked in, getting some kip and it'll be sound tomorrow. I think I'm due a zero, to be honest. It's not gonna be a zero because it's the end of trail for a while. And there she is, mate, the terminus. It was a great Glen Way.
Dumbledore, mate. And as soon as I finish, it starts raining. What a stunner. Right, where's Weatherspoons? That's what I'm talking about. Pint of bitter and my flipping Weatherspoons double burger thing. Stunning. Thank you so much for watching The Great Glen Way. It's been my absolute pleasure. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that bell notification because there's more hikes coming soon. It's a new season. I'm ready to get out and crush some miles. Peace. Peace.